And, and I think what's worrying is if interest rates continue to increase, it could make things worse. Um, we're obviously in a in a high inflation situation, but this is primarily driven by global fossil fuels. So instead of relying on monetary policy to kind of do the impossible, we need the government to step in and implement stronger price caps um, and, and other measures. Well, I wanted to ask you, you know, does the Bank of England necessarily or indeed the Chancellor really have many options at their disposal just now to try and cool uh, soaring inflation and all of our energy bills and so on going upwards? Well, you're, yeah, you're totally right that, the, you know, the Bank of England and central banks in general, you know, have been out of tools to deal with the economic challenges since the crash. And unfortunately, we haven't seen the kind of conversation moving further and fast enough about different ways in which um, central banks can step in. But, but most importantly, to work alongside treasuries and governments to deliver coherent economic policy and where there is a lot more opportunity for action is fiscal policy and is the, the treasury in the Chancellor, um, you know, we've had a conversation over the last few months how he, he needs to be doing a lot more um, to protect those, the poorest uh, in terms of the long term. We need to be preventing at source this ex- excessively high p- pricing by potentially capping energy prices. So there is a lot more um, that can be done.